ever feel like, I don't know, maybe you could just float away from all the noise and stress. Like you just need a moment of peace. I know exactly what you mean. Well, today's deep dive, it might be your ticket to that feeling. Oh, no swimming required though, right? Definitely not. We are diving into Zen meditation. Okay. A practice that helps you find that calm, centered space within. Kind of like a mental reset button. And a practice that I think a lot of people have the wrong idea about. That's true. A lot of people think it's about like emptying your mind or something. Yeah, exactly. And it's really not about that at all. It's more about, you know, training your mind. Right. More like training. Yeah. Like strengthening a muscle. Right. Like building that mental muscle. Yeah. So our sources, they describe it as, you know, kind of the classic picture. You're sitting cross-legged, focusing on your breath. Right. Sounds simple, right? Yeah. Deceptively simple. Yeah. I mean, because the thing is, it's simple to like describe, but then when you actually sit down to do it, right? that's when the sort of the work yeah. begins, yeah. right? Because what happens is you start to notice all these thoughts, they just like pop up like mm -hmm. that mental to-do list. Oh yeah. And you know, the key is not to get like, you know, swept away by them. Right. Not to get like totally lost. Not to chase after them. Right. But just to kind of let them drift by almost right. like, you know, clouds. Right. And just kind of acknowledge them and return to the breath. Exactly. And that's that training part. Yeah. You know, it's funny because one of the sources described it as like almost like a superhero, yeah. you know, <laughs> honing their superpowers. But instead of super strength or, you know, flying or whatever, it's super focus. Right. And just like a superhero, the more you train, the stronger those abilities become. And that's where the actual neuroscience comes in. Right. Because this is an actual, you know, thing that is happening. It's not just, you know. This isn't just some like, you know, mystical thing. Yeah, exactly. There's actual research that shows that when you meditate regularly, you actually strengthen the focus and attention circuits in your brain. Wow. It's like building mental muscle memory for calmness. Okay. I like that. I like that a lot. So it's not just what's going on in our minds. We learned also that our posture plays a role in this too. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, straight spine, open chest, almost like you're about to, I don't know, deliver a big presentation. Right. It's like getting ready to take on the world. And there's a reason for that hmm. because posture, it isn't just physical. It directly impacts our mental state. So that upright posture, it sends signals to the brain and it says, hey, be alert, be focused. It's like ready to work, ready to go. Exactly. And speaking of focus, you know, one of our sources talked about this soccer player, Alex, and he actually used Zen meditation to help with his pregame jitters. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, you know, before he would get really nervous, you know, classic like pregame jitters, but meditation helped him channel that energy into focus on the field. Well, that makes sense. Because when you think about what's happening during Zen meditation, hmm. you're doing this deep focused breathing. Right. And that actually calms the nervous system. It's a natural anxiety reducer. So it makes sense that it would improve his performance. Right. So it's not just in our minds. It's actually like affecting our bodies in a real way. Yeah. Wow. That's that's really something. I mean, can you imagine like trying this before a big presentation at work or even just a hectic day of like running errands. Oh, yeah. It's like having a superpower against stress. Absolutely. And, you know, it's not just about managing anxiety. I mean, the study shows Zen meditation can also do things like improve your sleep quality, maybe even boost creativity. So it's interesting, right? We have this practice, Zen meditation, that's accessible to anyone with all these potential benefits. But yeah. what's the like, I don't know, the deeper meaning behind it all? Why has this practice been around for centuries? That's a really great question. I think, you know, at its core, Zen meditation is about cultivating this deeper awareness of ourselves in the world around us. It's about being present in this moment, like right here, right now, rather than getting lost in thoughts about the past or, you know, worrying about the future. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like it's giving your mind permission to just be in the moment, not, you know, five steps ahead or, you know, dwelling on something that happened yesterday. Right. And I think that's what I was trying to say with that reset button idea. It's like you're hitting reset on your mind. You're finding that stillness within. Yeah. And then from that stillness, we can approach things, I don't know, with a fresh perspective. Exactly. So Zen meditation. Simple practice, powerful benefits, a deep well of just wisdom to draw from. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling pretty zen just talking about it. Me too, me too. But, you know, as we wrap up here, it makes you wonder if focusing on your breath for even a few minutes can have such a profound impact. Imagine bringing that same mindfulness to other areas of your life, your work, 
relationships, hobbies, even just like the way you move throughout your day? You know, what kind of positive changes could you create? It's a really great question to think about. It is. It is. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for joining us for another deep dive. And until next time, be well. Be well.